Do you refrain from asking for help when you need help because you are used to doing everything by yourself? You're hyper independent. Or do you refrain from asking for help because you fear rejection? You don't want to feel embarrassed. You feel insecure. So when I was at work, my coworker went the entire shift putting a strain on herself. She did more work than what was necessary because she could have asked one simple question. And so at the end of our shift, I said, how did your day go? And she said, I didn't know X, Y, and Z. And I said, oh, I said, you, you could have you could have texted me we have these work phones right and there are there are i would say around a hundred people she could have asked this question to she said it's not like me to ask people for help i don't want you guys to think i'm stupid i don't want to feel embarrassed and it just hurt it just hurt and I said okay I understand that but you could always just text me shoot me a text it was a simple question I would have I would have shown her it would have took a few minutes and that would have significantly changed her her workload significantly she put more strain on herself because she was afraid to ask for help and I felt so bad and so I thought about making this video and it made it reminded me of my younger self now I am the eldest daughter so I have a lot of younger siblings I took care of my younger siblings I have a lot of fucking younger siblings and for the longest I was like this hard-working independent I don't need anyone but I will show up to help everybody else but when I needed help I just made it work or, or just struggled not me anymore and it it took time okay I have put myself in situations where I got rejected and I got no's a lot of no's okay and that's not gonna stop me if I need or I want something, I need help. Most of the times I figure things out on my own. But if I need or want help, I ask. Now, if you are a woman watching this video, this is how I work personally. You don't have to work this way, but this is how I work personally. If there's a man in my phone, okay, he wants my attention, he wants my validation, he wants to sleep with me, he wants to spend time with me, if I cannot ask him for help, there's no reason for me to engage, personally. Personally. If I can't ask you for help, then what the fuck, what the fuck is this? <sighs> yes. I will ask a stranger anywhere I am if I need help. It could be at the airport. It could be out. It, it could be at work. Okay, I'm asking a stranger a question anywhere. Anywhere I am in any place. If I need help or I need to figure something out. When I'm at the grocery store. Let me tell you about when I was in Germany, right? And the person I was with, they didn't understand German. I, I don't speak German myself. I can't read or write it. But when I was in Germany with them, they were using an app to scan over things and it, it was just too much for me it became overwhelming it took way too long they work differently if that works for them that's good i'm not saying anything you know bad about you know how they work but personally i just wanted to figure out where the all the 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 all seasoning was the multi-seasoning like Lowry's that's really I knew I should have brought some <laughs> but anyways <laughs> I need to go to sleep I'm tired so I was in a German grocery store everything is written in German right and there's 
there was so many seasonings there was like two aisles worth of seasonings i couldn't believe it and i was i was looking and i just didn't know what i it, <laughs> i could not figure it out so the person i was with they were they were trying to scan over every seasoning i was like i'm gonna find an um, employee to ask for help i they're there to work they're working and when i'm working and people ask for help that's part of my that's just you know some people might not want you to ask. i don't care that's the thing if i ever get rejected or someone says no no sass i can't help you with this x y and z i'm just gonna move on i i just keep going so i found an employee and she was so sweet oh my goodness the german people i met they were very lovely very lovely people just very warm and so i found the employee she was very nice and i tried to communicate with her that i was looking for this okay an all type seasoning but she only spoke german she barely spoke english and she was getting frustrated with herself that she couldn't communicate and i said it's okay it's okay um it, no worries but she went and she found another employee who spoke english when that woman came over she found the seasoning i needed for lasagna right away and i asked for help okay ask and you shall receive and if you get a no or if you get treated like you're stupid just move on don't take it personally you can't help me that has nothing to do with me <laughs> it's it's all within you you don't want to help me you can't help me whatever it is it doesn't it i just move on i just move on ask and you shall receive and i think to get over the fear of rejection put yourself in situations where you get rejected period that's how I overcame rejection anxiety. You're going to get no's. It, the, the world doesn't stop spinning. Especially over here. Just go to the next. On to the next. On to the next. On to the next. And if there's someone in your life where you can never ask them for help and they always need your help, it's not a good balance. When I ask people for help, when I seek um, advice, I try to give back in different ways to people and give back to strangers when they need help, but not overextending yourself, okay, people 